So I've been looking for something that I can record the output of a system I'm working on with a VGA out to my computer so I don't have to film my stupid 4x3 LCD which just looks terrible. I'd like to actually capture it. I was looking at different products. Uh, one of them is the VGA to USB by Epifan, which is a really ridiculous name. Uh, but that thing's 300 bucks. And all it does is it takes a VGA signal and gives you a USB interface. And what it does is it identifies itself as a high resolution webcam. And it only captures up to, uh, I believe, 20 frames a second max, depending on the content. As your bandwidth limited by USB, it will saturate it if there's a lot of movement. So it can drop as low as 2 frames a second, which is kind of a joke. But uh, it does have very high resolution, so it's not terrible. And for what I'm doing, it would work. But it's $300. So that's kind of out of the question. I went, well, maybe I'll find something else. So um, I was looking around on eBay and I found this OptiBase Video Innovations MGW Flash Streamer. It says it's a VGA capture module. Uh, the particular seller on eBay was selling six of them, I believe. I bought one uh, for $25 with free shipping and there were um, obviously five others and I think two have already been sold in addition to mine uh, it came with this like ridiculous velcro crap on it which I don't think is gonna take a while to get off and I got it and I plugged it into my Mac and my Mac said you know proprietary device unknown um, it's got uh, just a USB port and three uh, holes for LEDs and a VGA connector. So I was like, well, it looks kind of similar to the really fancy $300 one. So when I got it, just open it up. It's in one of these little aluminum uh, project boxes. The Epifan one comes in, it looks like a plastic or at least colorized metal um, case so it looks a little fancier than this one so you just take the little end piece off as usual and see if we can wiggle this guy out oh hang on let me grab my some kind of tool to get these out this guy out all right so with it open the first thing i saw was Epifan Systems, and it says V2W on it. Inside, it's actually very sparse. It has two main devices. One is an analog device's uh, 988-4A, which is um, a flat panel interface for capturing analog signals. And the other part is a Cypress uh, CY7C uh, 68013, which is um, a microcontroller, a USB 2 microcontroller. And we've got a couple surface mount LEDs and not much else, just a bunch of bypassing and resistors and whatnot. Nothing, just passives in an external crystal. And some voltage regulators. And that's it. But I saw the name, so I went to their site and downloaded the official macOS drivers. And what do you know? It works. It thinks it is an original VGA to USB. And this might be a really cheap way to get one of these things. Uh, since the guy was selling them for 25 bucks, obviously it's not going to be there forever, but because you now know that there's a second source of these, one that doesn't have the fancy name that people can look up, I found very, very little information on this. So this was like a complete mystery. No one, no one had any information on this thing, like on Google. But the VGA2 USB is you know, they make drivers up to Mac OS 9, they have a Java version, they've got tons of software for this thing, uh, or at least uh, driver support. There you go, an easy way to get it. Like I um, tested it out, I plugged it into my um, tech older uh, TDS Tektronix scope, and uh, it has actually a VGA out. Uh, my particular one came with a VGA cable and a USB cable, but they're just standard. And uh, yeah, recorded it just fine. Uh, it's limited to 20 frames a second, but who cares, you know, I don't need, you know, I'm not playing games through this thing and, like, trying to use it to record a PlayStation or something. So, there you go. Might be a cheap way to get one of these if you need some VGA capture.
I was considering saving and getting something very pricey, like a $200 Elgato one or something like that. Under the Velcro, I found the true origins of the device made in Canada, not Cambodia.